has over 22 years of experience in the field of IT. He has also worked with clients across multiple industries and has played a key role in designing and developing exciting applications and products. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage with a warm round of applause, the founder of Manual Focus and the CEO of Seed Photo, Mr. Parsa Hagigi. Come on up, sir. Mr. Parson, the stage is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. When we are not adding value, we are making noise. This is actually my favorite quote, and I do love it. To be honest, I did try my best to gather all information about my instruction today in a way that I please make sure that I can add a value top of the things that you already know. Let me start with introducing myself. I've been in IT industry for more than 22 years. During the last decade, I've had the opportunity to work with Startups company, corporate size company, enterprise size like talented entrepreneurs, designers, and developers, and a number of existing application and products. Why it doesn't work? Okay. <laughs> I'm the founder of one of the biggest photography community called Manual Focus. Manual Focus, uh, which is famous with the Instagram handle of Portraits Underline MF. MF stands for Manual Focus. Portraits Underline MF hashtag used more than 3.5 million times so far. Recently, I've been deeply invested in the world of art, and I do love it, to be honest, because I strongly believe that Art makes reality bearable, according to Friedrich Nietzsche's famous statement. But today I'm standing here as a co-founder of Photo, a platform designed especially for photographers by photographers. And my instruction, as I mentioned today, is about what we did and what we are going to do in the future. Before talking about Photos platform, let me briefly talk about the world of art. My approach is always from general to specific, and I think it works. What is artistic work? Let me define an artistic work. An artistic work results from human beings' involvement and artist mindset not the complicated mixture of technology and tools to make a piece of art. As James Wessler mentioned, an artist is not paid for his labor, but for his vision. Well said. True art reflects an artist's creativity, emotion, and vision, not just the output of machine or technology. So we should focus on human aspect of it when we're discussing art. To especially talk about photography, photography is the medium of art that started with the invention of camera in early 1800s. Photography ca capture and share images and lets everyone see and enjoy them and plays a major role 
in how we document and understand the world. Looking at art history, we all know that photography is the mother of digital art. Imagine whenever you go to any platform online, there is no way that you cannot find the sign of photograph. That's why we believe that photography is the mother of digital art. The photography industry is currently facing with the significant challenge in addressing the issue of copyright and image usages right in the digital age. Photography has always been considered the most straightforward art form in the digital world, and it's also remained to these days. Here is the important question. What is the most critical issue the photography industry is dealing with nowadays? As you may know, the photography industry has the mass quantity of infringement, copyright, and misuse issue compared to other art categories. This happened because anyone can take a photo and post it without considering the effect and time put in the original shot. This is the real infringement of art, and no one has come up with a solution to control it. We know photography industry and photography infringement is the primary concern for photographers. And we strongly believe that the solution to solve it is sit that photo platform. Why? As I mentioned earlier, because sit that photo is designed for photographer by photographer. In order to understand it better, Whenever you want to solve the problem, you have to have a good understanding of the end user who wants you to use that platform. We need to know the needs, goals, and pain points in order to solve a problem. We are photographer ourselves. We don't know what the hell we want. And then we believe that this platform is designed by photographer for photographer. That's why we came up with a good solution to solve the existing problem for them. Also considering the collector in order that. I will explain it later on in the next pages. Before talking about sit.photos features, let's be briefly talk about photography industry itself. We all know that the value of photographs assets for both digital and art collectors. Art collecting can offer both financial and personal benefit. First thing first, financially, the value of art, particularly photographs, will appreciate over time, make it a profitable investment. This means that the artwork you purchase today could be worth more in the future, providing an ROI return on investment. On the personal side, art collecting can be a way to surround yourself with the beautiful, meaningful pieces that hold the sentimental value and enhance your living and working space. It also allows you to connect with the artists and they work and gain a deeper appreciation for the art form. I personally think collecting art is a way to invest in yourself and your future. Now, we know the digital industry is challenging for photographers and this, as their intellectual property rights are often unprotected. Their work can be easily stolen or used without their permission. This lack of proper protection for photographers' intellectual property rights leads to their work being undervalued and mistreated in the industry. Let me give you a tangible example in order to articulate it better. Imagine a piece of land here in Dubai being offered to you for free right now. Do you love it? I personally do love it. Congratulations, you are the owner. While it may seem like a great deal, unfortunately the land is not yours without any paperwork. 
To own the land truly, you would need a certificate of title in your name as an evidence of ownership. In Dubai, they call it, I believe, title debt. Correct me if I'm wrong. Similarly, in digital world, photographs and other digital assets must be properly protected to ensure photographers' ownership and they can easily control the use of their book. Now that we have a good understanding of photography industry and its concern, let's take a look at why should every photographer and every NFT collector consider seed that photo. In general, seed.photo is the platform that utilizes NFTs and blockchain technology to protect and support copyright of legitimate art. Let me repeat it again. Only and only legitimate art. Why am I emphasizing this word? Nowadays, with thousands of platforms worldwide, you can pay just a couple of dollars for your monthly subscription and then simply write it down whatever you want an ai machine will create a digital art for you you can write it down i want to see a monkey sitting next to the beach on the moon something crazy like that and in a matter of second you have options and you can simply put it back on a blockchain platform as an nft what ai does is absolutely phenomenal and I do love it but we believe AI will fade out worthless NFTs and when I say worthless I mean that there is no human behind of it remember that real art should come from a human brain but what AI does these days make it simple for anyone to create whatever they want so what you are seeing as an NFT today will fade out very soon and we believe that in the next two years the most valuable NFT in the world will be a real art, legitimate artworks such as music, movies and photos. Currently there are around 25 famous NFT marketplaces, and whenever you go to any blockchain platform like this exchange immediately when you see the terms KYC which is stand for know your customer you might think oh wait a minute this platform is not decentralized because they asking for my document <coughs> sorry it's not a right or wrong concept and I'm not going to argue it but I want to tell you that we change it in seed in seed, having KYC has a different meaning. We have one of the most restricted KYC system in the world. The KYC in seed, seed.photo is much more strict than even Binance. Because in seed.photo, we must ensure our collectors buy legitimate art from real photographers. We did a lot for these sentences and that's why I really like to repeat it again because in seed.photo we must ensure our collectors buy legitimate art from real photographers that's why we have KYC on board to make sure whoever wants to upload photos they spend a lot of time to learning how to do that to create a masterpiece at the end for the collector then in the future the collector when they buy it they can gain money or whatever they want or at least they get something which does not exist in the world as an artwork not just the single photos we check your profile story as a photographer and original photo to ensure that we have genuine artwork created by talented photographers this is the reason why we have KYC on board so here in seed.photo, restricted KYC means genuine artwork because we only and only sell genuine art. <coughs> Our goal and vision is crystal clear. We want to be center core of photography in the new technology age. Our goal is to establish ourselves 
as the leading authority of photography in the digital era. Very soon, all the photographers in the world will join us like the other 400 already joined, and we will create an entire code of photography through the blockchain system and its unique features compared to other NFT platforms. This way, no one can abuse photographers anymore. Now I will let you know what Photo will offer to the photography industry. First, from technical perspective, which I think it's so important to think about it from that side, and it's mistreated already, we have our own dedicated IPFS. You might think, what the hell is IPFS? In super simple description, IPFS is the way to store and share files online in a decentralized way. Instead of using one center, central server, it uses a network of computers to share files. This makes the system faster, safer, and more open. What happens if a platform used share IPFS? I believe 90% of the collectors don't know these details. It means that whenever this company disappears or doesn't pay for the server, all the NFTs are gone, unfortunately. It's happened already and it's happening at the moment. Nowadays, you can buy NFTs from many platforms, but when you move them in your wallet, yes your NFTs can go missing. Why? Because they use dedicated IPFS. But in seed.photo first thing fate, we decided to have our own APFS, which is not easy to do that in, for example, paying something to get it. No, it's technically it's so hard. You can just simply Google it to find out how hard is it to build our own IPFS. Second benefit. In Seed.photo, we are selling original digital assets. Raw file is the original file that photographers got in the first day. It means if you buy a photo right now as an NFT in Seed.photo, you will receive one copy as a JPEG file, which has been edited, and another copy as the original raw file as the value of your purchase. <coughs> which is pure with over 95 different metadata that we are collecting from that photo. Of course, it's optional for photographers, but we recommend they always add it while they're maintaining their artwork. We know all the details about that photo, such as the date, the lens, the ISO, the camera information, the location, and the information about the photographer itself. Plus, we provide an NFT title for each minted artwork. NFT title can be transferred to any potential collector. So when you buy it, you will receive a certificate that you can download as an authentication certificate from our website. <clears throat> Third benefit, we are genuinely zero cost. Many people are watching NFT's platform and saying they are zero cost, but to be honest, they're not. Because at the end of the day, they are paying gas fee for blockchain. As an example, in sub-blockchain like Ethereum, each time you mint or list an NFT, you are paying minimum of $10, $20, $30, $40, something like that. In Binance, $1 to $2 to $3. In Polygon, $3 to $4, something like that. So it's not truly zero cost, but seed.photo is truly zero cost for photographers. How? They receive seed token automatically through our smart contracts for whatever money they are spending or minting or listing for a gas fee. They can change that seed token instantly over MetaMask or swap it with all famous cryptos. In this way, yes, they pay gas fee, they receive seed token, they swap seed token to any other token and get their money back. That's why it's truly zero cost. 
Benefit number four. As per the ease of our members and the importance of the user freedom, our platform supports multi-chain. Photographers will have the chance to mint their artwork to Binance Chain, Polygon, and Ethereum and offer them to their collectors. Feature number four. For better collaboration and knowledge sharing, we build a dedicated social group for seed members. In the next two weeks, chat will be launched as a new feature on our platform. So photographers and collectors can chat together and they can even negotiate over the price. The last feature and the most amazing one, I believe, is a museum. The museum is another new feature we will be having in Seed.Photo by next month, which is the first ever chance for you to stake your NFT. Yes, for the first time in the world, you can stake your NFT. Stake back your art and borrow it to the platform for our museum so that we can use it in galleries worldwide and you will get a yearly base reward for that, which is almost 20% of the value of your artwork. Let me give you an example again. You come to the museum section and buy an, an, an artwork for like 10 BNB. If you borrow it back to the museum for one year, you will receive two BNB instantly and you don't need to wait for one year. Why is that? It's exactly like a real world, we mimic it. If you have money to buy the Mona Lisa, you got the ownership, borrow it back to the lovers in museum so they can use it and pay you for that. As we all know, NFTs have revolutionized the way we think about art and digital assets. But as I mentioned earlier, it's not just about technology. It's about the people behind the art. Photographers. Photographers are the ones who capture the beauty of the world and it's essential that we give them a platform and visibility that they deserve. That's why we have created a unique promotion system for photographers and we would like to share it with you today. First, we have our galleries worldwide. Every three to four months, we showcase at least 20 to 25 photographers in the each gallery. We have already held galleries in cities like Istanbul and Milan, and we plan to expand it in the other location in the future. I think next one is Sydney, Australia. This is an excellent opportunity for photographers to display their work and gain exposure. Second, we have articles and news agencies. We have contracts with multiple news agencies worldwide and we use these channels to showcase photographers' work. This is an excellent way for photographers to reach a wider audience and gain recognition. Third, we have paid marketing option. Photographers can choose from 5%, 10%, 20% marketing campaign to promote their works and photos and artworks. They pay for those campaigns after they sell their artwork, which is the win-to-win -win process. There is no money up front. This is an excellent way for photographers to reach a larger audience and increase their sell. Lastly, we have exclusive project. For photographers with great idea but limited budget, we offer collaboration budget opportunity to bring those audio to life. This is an excellent way for photographers to create a new existing project without worrying about the financial aspect. Generally speaking, our goal is to create a mouse exclus exclusive NFTs marketplace for photographers by photographers. We believe that with doing so, we can change the world of photography and give photographers the recognition they deserve. In conclusion, we want to promote photographers worldwide through various channels, such as galleries worldwide, articles and news agencies, paid marketing option and exclusive project. 
We are a group of photographers who believe we can change the world of photography, and we hope you will join us in this journey. Let's join together to create a better world for art. If you guys have any question, I'm more than happy to answer and sit that photo stand by a couple of minutes. Thank you for listening. Thank you.